I'd like to start this episode off by reading a beautiful inspirational quote. It's actually not an inspirational quote, just a Facebook post <laughs> from Mary Brown. Oh, but she is an inspiration. She is an inspiration, yes, to all of us. <laughs> uh, it just says, buckle up for this one. What time does the show come on where you are? <laughs> what are we buckling up for? As if we didn't see her for longer than like two minutes. It was beginning to end Mary's entire storyline. Now the episode is called the year of release. Okay. Now oh, this was supposed to be the main part of the episode. Yes. Nine oh. minutes in total. Now that nine minutes is also B roll flashbacks, uh, confessionals from all four other cast members talking <laughs> about Mary. And she said, buckle up for this one. Wow. If, you know what? Do if you think I was, she's seen it, like, is she going to be embarrassed? If she goes to that. She give me so, no, I think she <laughs> thinks in her heart of hearts that she's like, wow, I am so inspirational. This is going to be moving. This is going to be just a huge moment in Sister Wives history. I feel like this whole storyline was so summed up when she was like, I texted Cody to ask, like, I'm doing this release. Do you want to be part of it? And he never texted <laughs> Right, like that's exactly how this feels. I'm like, yeah. you think this is a big deal? We're but not nobody else thinks back. it's a big deal. We're not getting the Mary. Text back. And what's so crazy is that, like, this is not a whiplash for us. Like, it is for her. Thing Janelle's said, like, oh, cool. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, cool. Cool. Nobody cares. Okay. I love when Christine was like, I mean, I don't really care. I don't believe in any of that shit anymore. But I'm like happy for her. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Super cool, cool. for her. <laughs> and my favorite part was when Mary was like, "No, I didn't tell anyone else because like." be sort of weird to call them up now i'm like because they all have your number blocked like, no one no cares. one cares <laughs> nobody mary your marriage has been done for 10 years uh, no one's surprised no one's like oh my god what mary left it's and like, here's what's so sad about this this is mary's i feel like big moment probably this whole season this is what she's based worthy up around <laughs> yes oh well when she was like i have some exciting things coming i'm like oh my mm -hmm. god worthy you have 30 up. members in a facebook group so I think it's so sad, though, that like this is her big storyline. Puddle Monkey couldn't even drive on over, beep bop on over to Mary's house. She had to film her own reaction to the release in her big empty house on her iPhone. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't even have an iPhone. I, on her Android? <laughs> no, she's got like, I think a Samsung Galaxy. Really? Yes. You don't think she has an iPhone? Caitlin, I saw it. <laughs> When they showed the fake footage of her sitting in her car in her driveway texting. That's why she doesn't know that Cody has her number blocked. Yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, I, it's text is going through like normal. Yeah. She doesn't have an iPhone. Yikes. She's got like a Samsung Galaxy. That's honestly the most That's devastating part of this whole thing. I'm just kidding. She's like, God, you really don't have an iPhone? And you know what? You might be like, oh, they're so classist. You know, in this case, we are. Get on an iPhone because you know what? Every time we include you on a group text, you ruin our whole day. Every <laughs> we need everyone time. to be on the same uh, program, please. Please. <laughs> please get on the program. <laughs> and they're like, well, could we all get on WhatsApp? No, no. we can't all get on WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Mary just had to sit alone in her big empty house filming her own confessional for her big, big storyline. Buckle this up. This is her storyline for the season. I, I, I also think she's meeting with the matchmakers. Okay. But I we know how like that ended. The release is supposed to be this huge, like a, a release. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, mm -hmm. Release. And this was supposed to be it. I don't even feel like I... If this was supposed to be a release, okay? <laughs> I don't feel like I even like started to kind of like diddle with my dick. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even begin to diddle. Such a letdown. Yeah. Yeah. Then this is supposed to be my full release. I'm supposed to be like, oh, my God. But no, none of that. It's kind of the perfect storyline for Guys, Mary's Mary's life. That is true. <laughs> like Mary's, Mary is the definition of just not even blue balls, just a flaccid <laughs> dick. She's you know, just, she's just a soft dick. <laughs> she's just a soft dick is the best way i could explain her there is so much going on i feel like in the sister wise world right now there is other than um, mary's release buckle up i think number one is that um the mcmansion is off the market now do we there's a lot of confusion over this a lot of people are now i went to zillow uh -huh. now am i a real estate agent no am i looking at the mls no mm -hmm. but i know that when we bought our house it disappeared from market and then it said sold later. And then it said sold once like it was all done. Yeah, as much as I want it to be that like Christine's lawsuit interfered with them buying Which new we house, are hoping for. I hope that, but I don't think that was it. I think it probably sold. <sighs> 
and it's going to say sold in a few days. Darn and it. I think they're going to move into that new house. Because normally, under contract. normally Zillow would say listing removed, but it doesn't say that. Yeah. In the history. Yeah. So mm -hmm. who knows? Mm -hmm. Also, happy belated birthday, Gabe. Happy birthday, Gabe. We don't forget. No, we don't forget. Not, like Not your here. Father. Not like your father. <laughs> also, McKelty's Patreon, which is normally just honestly nothing. <laughs> it's a lot of it's another flaccid dick <laughs> in this whole flaccid dick of situations. She went it's on, better than Mary's storyline. This is typically yes. I thought you meant her birth and stuff. No, no. I'm done with McKelty. No, I'm done with the McKelty I don't show. need any more McKelty in my life. No, but I will say <laughs> that on her Patreon, she watched last episode and she reacted to it live. Which yikes! I wish I hope as much as I love to talk shit about this show, I yeah. just I don't want the kids to be watching it. No, it's not a good. It's not a good idea. No, I feel like if anything, she needs to watch it with a therapist and not the camera on. Yeah, I agree. Not I agree. Camera I don't on. think we need to watch it live with an audience when it's our dad talking about how he hates our whole family. <laughs> It's like really, really dark. <laughs> but she's like has tears in her eyes, and I feel like she's turned against her dad now. Yeah, just, uh, wouldn't you? Yeah, can you I, imagine. I will say this though. This episode, and she to said me, though, like you know, I wish he would just apologize and like take ownership. I think some of us kids would come back. Like yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm still on his team. Yeah, no, she's not. No, nope. I feel like she's not done now. She's done. Which she's like, here's my next season storyline. <laughs> I'm going to be back, guys. <laughs> I'm the only one who will film. Did this episode make you sad, though? For what? Just Which part? This family. Yeah, sort like, of. I just, when I really get down to it and think about it, I'm like, this is all really, really If I let up. myself get too far away from the snark. I have to, like, believe that they're not real people. Right. You know? I want to almost believe that, like, cameras go down. Cody and Christine are still married. Robin actually left a long time ago. It's like they plan it. It's just like it's all just actors on a stage. Yeah, I hope it's not as dark as it seems, but I think it is. I think it is. I know. I think. I think it's even more dark. It's a lot more dark. I, I think. know, but it's, it's just, just we can't go there because then we can't. Do when this. we flash <laughs> back, and I'm like, God, was was this family just pulling it, pulling one over on us? Or I what? don't know. I think they were truly happy, which why, which is truly why truly Grace me, Wooly Brown, truly happy. Grace, truly Grace happy, which makes me so sad about where Cody's at now because I'm like. You once did have a good family and you did love these women and you did love these kids. And now it's like, what happened to you? Did that he you have like, an injury? Does he have a TBI? Something. Does he? Did he turn it? You like, know what? Flagstaff has a higher elevation. Is the oxygen getting cut off? I don't know. Because I'm just like, this is not the same man we watched Does he back need then. to be sleeping with a CPAP? Was he always annoying? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Was he always full of himself? Yes. But like, he wasn't angry like, like this. this. No. Like, this is... Uh, and he did truly love his kids and his truly wife. Truly Grace Wooly Brown <laughs> loved his kids. Yes, he did. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, we can watch it. It's really sad. Also, it's really sad. Let's not go there. Let's it was, pretend it's fake. <laughs> it was presented to me that in the UK, they're behind on their episodes, but they have a different cut than we do. And we mm. got a more extended uh, game night episode with them which didn't really offer a whole lot more except for we got to hear a little bit more about buyana and awuwa which i don't really care no. but i was like why why is this different yeah why is it different? why is the uk are they like eh, we edit it for here but we're not going to edit for that and robin was like you know awuwa and buyana they know that we're going through a breakup they understand I'm like yeah because they're uh 50 <laughs> 50 years old. I think that's what it said. It was. I think Cody was like, you know, the girls are old enough to realize. I'm like, yeah, they are. They're adults now. Uh, of course they're old enough to realize. They're about to enter perimenopause. Also, I also think Ariola is old enough to realize. Like, also, she's people, not that little. People are pointing out that game night, Ariola, she's about seven foot two, six years old. But Thanksgiving, she's like four years old. Mm -hmm. Still with I her binky. It, is it old footage? It's think? all old footage. This whole show <laughs> is just old footage. That's what you said when we were watching this. You're like, how does Mary still have Mosby Dog? I'm like, that's old. She doesn't have it. <laughs> I'm like, is Mosby Dog even still alive? Which I did a deep dive yes. because I had to know. And yes, Mosby Dog is still here, but obviously not the favorite dog anymore. No, because Zona has moved in. No. Oh. Well, yes, Mary has a new favorite, but yeah. also Leon and Audrey have two new favorites Ugh. over Mosby Dog. Ugh. Yeah. You know what? It's hard to be that first. <laughs> for for like Mosby that. Dog. Cody always liked her. 
We also have Christine and Janelle just doing some press, beep bopping around LA, popping up on mm-hmm. People, Us Weekly, on red carpets. I got to say this. In terrible outfits. Can I say this? <laughs> when can they hire a stylist? Seeing <laughs> these two on the red carpet in like <laughs> almost like what I imagine like for a nighttime Easter get together. <laughs> and I'm just like, everyone With else. like other TLC cast, which isn't like putting them next to the real housewives but it's like <laughs> no but there are other people there jackson britney were there real okay. housewives are there it's yeah. like um, imagine seeing <laughs> janelle, janelle like and christine, in her marshall's best i was like and then <laughs> watching like erica jane walk behind them it's just it's wild to me that like we are these people don't exist in the same world <laughs> Like if they go to if if Christine and Janelle are going to a red carpet, it's the opening of a new bakery. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like not this. It's not right. But they've been giving lots of interviews. They um, have. And, and, I, and is there really anything that exciting? No, but it just further cements that like this is this family has fallen apart. They yes. don't speak with Cody. I think they we all him. know that. At one point, Christine said, "Oh yeah, Cody's a Disneyland dad to Savannah." Mm. Comes around, does something fun once, and then like leaves her for like six months. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, sad. you know. Um, I also wanted to. They point did out. say though in yeah. one of the interviews, which I found interesting because we kind of heard this, but we weren't sure. They said it goes from fall 2022 to like Christine said to my wedding to six months after we were married. So it's going all the way up until like, spring it, of 2024. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Is what the season spans. Buckle up. <laughs> Buckle guys. up. Buckle up. We are just we fast are, forwarding through two years. <laughs> we are going. Wow. And this is two years of footage, and we're still like doing Jenga game night. Okay. That's what made the cut, you know? We're Mary's again <laughs> sitting alone in her house. We're getting B roll of Mosby Dog, who hasn't been around <laughs> since 2020. That's a sad thought. You know, it's like this two show. Two years of filming, and why this is what we get. Why are we watching this? And why are we sitting here recapping it? Like, what is <laughs> mentally wrong with all of us? And we just keep coming back. It's wild <laughs> it's to a me. train wreck. It is. So. You can't not watch. Let's get into it. Season 19, episode five, the year of release. Now, buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle up. I thought the very beginning of this episode was like a 90s sitcom music playing. It was like, I was like, why are we? Wow. Read the fucking room. This family's falling apart. Well, also, it started out very happy with Cody being like, we're going to see the new Bambinos. I'm I was like, so excited to see the Bambinos. I'm like, who is this Chomping guy? Chomping his gum. Don't chomp he's your like, fucking sometimes gum. Sometimes he's almost scarier when he's happy, you know? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's like you don't see it enough that you're like, what happened? What? Well, yeah. What's, What's going? Happened? Did Robin just suck your dick while you yeah. were driving up to Utah? She's she can't do that. No, because she's like, oh, sorry, Cody, I get motion <laughs> you can't sickness. Can't lean over the center console; it hurts. <laughs> uh, I get motion sickness trying to suck your penis while we're... I imagine Robin's like, give me that penis. Ew. Like she doesn't say like, give me that dick. You know, or like, oh, cock. mama's throbbing for some cock. You know, she's always like, oh, Cody, I wish I had your penis in you right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's grosser than thinking about her giving him roadhead <laughs> uh, now cody's got a freshly curled do going on mm. it's something it's very tight his monet is working it is very <laughs> tight up there i'm just like wow that is very beautiful the best part is like looking back cody had like, straight hair yeah <laughs> you know? like i mean did he perm the, like is it yeah, a perm it's perm okay which i think is a risky move because perm is a lot of chemicals i'm like your hair is barely holding when on. is he gonna do the storyline of cutting his hair oh, it needs season. to happen i think that's honestly that's the like last, last ditch effort he's like, okay i'll cut my hair yeah he's like Can we have another season? and honestly i think puddle monkey will be like stretch it out the whole season yeah episode one is cody contemplating it episode two cody backs away from the idea episode three cody's <laughs> contemplating he cuts it. one inch decides if he's gonna go shorter we end that <laughs> season with him in the chair the smock around him and they're about to cut and then it says that's the to be continued next season <laughs> And we're all just like, I can't wait. And even though we have seen him since then, Mm -hmm. and we know his hair is cut or not cut, but we're, we're sitting here holding on. You're welcome. You're welcome for the storyline for season 35. Yeah. When you guys need to get (laughs) into it. Uh, Tony and McKelty, every time they're in a confessional, I just want people to watch Tony because he looks all around. Like he doesn't, it's almost like he doesn't know where to put his hands. He's just kind of (laughs) like, he's kind of, googly eyed he is googly eyed <laughs> yes and i still stand by the fact that he does look like such a serial killer 
with this with hair. that hair yeah yeah, yeah. I'm just and Tony, his eyes are kind of like they stare a little too long you know oh yes you know what I'm saying yeah. I yeah mm-hmm. like a serial killer yeah well that could be another storyline for Tony McKelty they're looking for storylines so let's cut Tony's hair please McKelty got a cut but not Tony oh god and that's gonna <laughs> McKelty's hair will for sure be a storyline oh yeah but of course self hopefully he's in North Carolina Tony's will too <laughs> I'll watch like, that okay so we go to Tony and McKelty's house and first thing that stands out to me is like, why the fuck are there? I I saw before the books on the wall that they've yeah. made themselves, the floating books, kind of like Harry Potter mm-hmm. inspired. It's everywhere. Yeah. There are so many books floating on their <laughs> walls. And I'm just like, it's not what, how did you decide to keep on going? Also, whoever bought that house next, cause they just sold it. Like yeah. they had so many holes to fill. Oh, so many holes to fill. Also, Use a command strip. <laughs> Tony fucking is sitting on the couch. He's got his shoes on. Yeah. Well, you're just sitting around your house with your shoes on? And you have like little kids that are crawling Who on the floor. Who walks around their house with their shoes? You're sitting on your couch. Serial killers. <laughs> that's true. That is true. I bet you anything. You look it up and that's that's true. Probably. So we're, we're with Cody on his first time meeting the kids. Thank the Bambinos, please. God, the Bambinos. Mm-hmm. Thank God he grabs that Archer Bambino first, not my <laughs> child. I'm like, uh-uh. Cody and Robin both took Archer first. Oh. So that's good news. They don't like you. They don't like me. And that's fine. <laughs> you don't want to be held by them. No, I don't want to be held by them. I also appreciate, you know, now in current times, I think my offspring's not necessarily the cutest. It looks a little <laughs> like Chucky. Ace was the cuter baby at first. Yes. Now I think they've switched, but. <laughs> I think Ace was getting closer to that placenta. Like Ace was getting some more of that feed. He ate more than the other one. Yes. That <laughs> other one, Archer came out and I was just like, whoa, Ozempic baby. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> really getting into it but i didn't feel like robin needed to call ace fat no you know she was like oh yeah one of these babies is a fat chunky. chunker like shut up chunky get out babies of are cuter okay avalon will not hug cody no i think that's very telling we have to settle on just a uh, fist bump mm-hmm. fist bump She's and like, did tony say do you want to hug cody yes okay. which i thought was so weird not like do you want to hug grandpa like yeah you want to hug cody? cody she's like who's cody <laughs> huh? yeah i'm just like oh, that's... she's scared of him yeah yeah it's the hair she's (laughs) She's like like, that's not what your hair looked like before fucker (laughs) uh cody's smelling the kids he's just like oh these kids smell so fucking good and mckelty's like i haven't showered them since they came out of my pussy (laughs) oh i forgot they were c-section babies but you know same thing they've got juice all over she's like they still have it's he's like they smell like breast milk has a lot of sugar i'm like okay it's sort of weird like like, (sighs) also what is his obsession with like he loves babies because they don't hate him yet. Because Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, it's so weird. I've already thought about this a million times. He loves a baby because a baby doesn't talk back. A baby doesn't. It's you, loyal. It's loyal. <laughs> Those babies are loyal to a fault. Um, it's just like, I think that a baby has no anything. Yeah. They don't have that. a personality. He's they don't like, have these shit. These babies won't talk about me in the rumor mill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I can shit. trust these two. It's just so weird because I'm like, you don't get... Also, it made me pissed off again bringing this back to real life yes that he's so excited to see these babies and he's never even like met Maddie's youngest baby. No. Or care to see her kids. No. Like, I, I just... It makes me so mad. And they're just like, let's drive up to Utah. Yeah. Like, also, like, can you imagine spending more than five minutes with Tony? No. Like, I, I honestly <laughs> feel like that's my own personal hell. Like, <laughs> really I, there's is. just something about Tony that I'm just like, oh, I don't want to fucking hang out with you. I don't know. He's better than McKelty. I don't want to hang out with either of them. I also thought it was funny when Cody was like, you know, I really like Tony. I'm good with McKelty. I'm like... <laughs> Also, he doesn't really like Tony. No, but I'm just like he's trying to rub it into Caleb. Oh, he's you making know? Caleb jealous yes, like, because him he loved oh, Caleb I love and they were because in our rewatch we're back right around there where yeah. Caleb and Maddie are getting married and then Tony McKelty are engaged and to- and Cody doesn't love Tony but he's very into Caleb. Yeah, and now that Caleb won't talk to him, he's like, yeah, me and Tony we're best buds. <laughs> you know how last week I was like. <sighs> is Robin making points? You know, is she actually, and I was like, come to your senses. And I came to my senses because fuck this bitch again, because she's sitting here and she's like, you know, I think McKelty can see both sides because she knows more of the truth. Well, what's the truth? Like the truth is that Cody's crazy. The truth (laughs) is that you guys are pieces of shit and you're not doing anything to fix these relationships. I think the best part is that like her saying like, she knows the truth. And like, we all watch your entire life. So it's like, it's not like anything's hidden. Well, no, here's the thing. What we're not seeing is, you know, when Cody's not doing his 
anger stuff. His <laughs> anger stuff, you know. His anger stuff. What the f- <laughs> like it was a show. His, like when he's not putting on his anger show. Robin sits here and tries to tell people she went to college, but God damn, if she does not have the There's smallest all different types of colleges, okay? I'm just like, girl, you are so dumb. You're stupid. When he's not doing his anger stuff. Anger stuff. I, I know he really misses the family's anger stuff. <laughs> I just, she, she talks like someone, and then no offense to the people who've had a stroke, but she talks like someone who's had a stroke. I also sometimes I'm like, is Robin being held captive? Like, should we feel bad for her? Well, everyone like, was she pointing scared? out how good Robin looked when she was sitting in her car after being with, the, and they're like, yeah. she got away from Cody. Yeah, like, is she being held hostage by him? Like, she's scared so. of him. Uh, trigger warning to anyone who is alive, um, because we're about to talk about McKelvey's <laughs> placenta. Squeamish? Not even squeamish. I think <laughs> I'm not squeamish, and I was about to throw up. Talking about McKelvey's. There placenta. should have been a trigger warning on this episode yeah before they showed the picture yeah because mckelty's like oh yeah i ate my placenta i actually took a huge bite out of it it's not it doesn't taste like carne asada yeah but it looked like carne asada (laughs) and then and they show the picture and she didn't take a nipple oh my god she like ate half of it she i've never seen a bite so big and it was well i have a big mouth and i can eat it when i watched it the first time and i was like I, I might literally barf. Like it was, I've never seen someone take such a big bite of something that was so gross. I can eat like a Big Mac in two to three bites. You know, like yeah. if I'm trying. Yeah. I think McKelty could eat a Big Mac in one bite. I'm wondering Shit. what like. And I'm just like, okay, look at that thing. It's got like blood and juices and, and stuff. I'm and like, like how messy. Like did she like look up and she looked like the Joker? with? Like, I think she looked like her? probably what Tony looks like after he eats her out on her period. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, girl, (laughs) what are you doing? It was so gross. Disgusting. So disgusting. I've never been more sick in my entire life. Oh my God. And then she's like, I just took a big old bite. Not like, oh, does anyone have a fork and a knife? I could cut a little (laughs) bit off. No, she's just like. (laughs) Like that would be normal. (laughs) At least it's not like, uh, Caitlin, I'm just imagining her in the hospital. She's like, give me that. Honestly, they were like, they were like, oh, she was in her apartment. Oh, that's right. That's why she was able to do it. So there's blood all over the floor. <laughs> oh, God. I know. And then to compare it to carne asada? Because I was picturing her in the hospital with like doctors and nurses around her being like, ooh. Yeah, that's what I was But thinking. then I was like, wait a second. No, it was just like her mom. And okay, so Robin. with the twins, she only did the encapsulated version. Yeah. Mm. But with Avalon, she took that big bite and then she said the rest of it, she put in a smoothie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the the like gross thing yeah she put it in a oh smoothie. i thought they powdered it and then put it in a smoothie no they put it they did it raw in a smoothie that's a thick milkshake yeah i mean you be you know you do you but like no not you do you <laughs> no i'm saying you do you if you want to encapsulate it and eat it at least it's in pill if form you're taking a bite out of your <laughs> placenta you're not you do you not Remember you be when into we were you. in the hospital someone yeah. one of the nurses told us someone took theirs home the husband cooked it up and brought it back that's just well, at least she, they cooked it at least they cooked it <laughs> she had like a full poke bowl you know it's like sushi she had sushi placenta so yeah and a, then a smoothie Ugh. she's like it doesn't really taste like anything i'm like mm, and like for blood. this bitch to sit there and be like yeah i mean i think all women need to eat their placenta so they don't get postpartum like, depression um, some people have a weak stomach <laughs> Number one, yeah. Number two, I don't, there's I don't no scientific, like there's very small, I had to Google it. Oh, you did. There's very small scientific stuff to back up. And and you know I what? I feel like it's, she too is just how McKelty always is. It's like, I don't care if you do that, but I feel like she was like, if everyone would just do that, like what I yes. did, no one would have postpartum depression. I'm like, I'm sure there's probably people who do eat their placenta and still have postpartum right. depression. Right, so McKelty. now we're going to have all these women biting into their raw <laughs> placenta and being like, whoa, 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 why the Why fuck? didn't it work like McKelty said it was? Yeah, and yeah. also why do I have the shit? <laughs> I have fire asshole, you know, coming like out of it me. It would hurt your stomach, don't you? Uh, <laughs> I thought that's the equivalent I of just eating. Also, just like if they can Taco turn it, Bell for 10 days can in a row. turn it into pill form, why yeah. don't you just do that? Why did she need to eat it? She's a carnivore. Raw. She's like, a- I feel like she was like, give me that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. And I'm like, and that we was- know you had Wendy sitting there. <laughs> I was going to say, and Tony had a Frosty, so it's not like they didn't have food. <laughs> she was just like ravenous. She's just like, I'm so hungry. 
we didn't need the picture no well it's like puddle monkey never goes above and beyond and they did for this they, I will they made sure they got the picture <laughs> i'm excited we had the picture because i did enjoy it honestly actually it was like unbelievable i feel like if i hadn't have seen the picture maybe that's what mary meant when she said buckle up. maybe She's like, you're not going to fucking believe Mary was like, oh, God, us. I'm going to throw up. Oh my God. <laughs> She's like, I would never do that. It's disgusting. Yeah. It looked Janelle like carne like, asada. Mm, never done that. Like it? I'm like, well, did Tony also take a bite out? Probably. They He's were like, like well, fucking lady and tramp in that thing. They each took one into the placenta and just slowly made their way to the middle. I'm like, oh, my God. And Tony's like, oh, it, it didn't bother my stomach. I could not stop room for a frosty. once when your placenta came out of you. Did I think like mm, I'm hungry? No. Mm, mm. Yeah, I hope not. I think I actually lost my appetite when I saw the placenta. <laughs> yeah, I think I did too. You know, I'm like, oh god. Oh, whoa! Ooh. They even said, "Are you squeamish? Yeah. Do you want to see it?" It's like well, I, I don't even want to see it. Let will take a bite out of it. No. Gross. Wow. Yeah. Where's the video of her taking the bite? <laughs> That's honestly now what Where's I want to see. Where's the camera crew when we need them? That's what I want to see. <laughs> Seriously, oh. they were there. We filmed the whole thing. Where was the bite? Well, it was iPhones again. I know, but, but where was her eating it? I'm sure she has video of it. Well, Put it up on her Patreon. I would sign up. If she puts up a video on Patreon of her eating her placenta, You'll I sign will up. sign up. Top tier. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever I got to do to see that, I will. Oh. Uh, Christine, Janelle, Mary, they never tried their placentas, but of course, Rob and Dan. Robin's She's like, like, I'm going to shock y'all. I was the first one to do it. And I was like, it didn't help you much. No. And she's you like, always well, like a bump know, on I had the postpartum once and then I didn't get it again. Okay. Well, okay. Also, you only had it with one of your kids. So it doesn't mean that that was the cure. Also, let's say that maybe that kid was one of your first three. You were also in a marriage that you hated and you were not going through a good time, you know? Yeah. And then like later on, you're like, oh, I've stolen this man from his wives. He only focuses on me. I have all this money. That's the thing. It may be helpful, but it also it's not the like cure all for no! everything. No, and fuck <laughs> them for like saying that. Why did Tony feel the need to bring up the sister wives circle jerk breastfeeding situation? I feel like he jacks off to it. Oh, I think Tony loves when McKelty's breastfeeding. He takes a turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously he does that, but I think like he's playing a little pocket pool. He's like, I heard that you guys all just like, it's like merry go round with babies on yeah. tits. And uh, you see his tits hold up the longest. I was like, that's a weird comment. He's like, <laughs> you know, like which one of you ladies got the best tits? But he wanted to call it nipples. I thought it was so weird though. Like Janelle was like, hey, yeah, no, I never did that. And Christine was like, no, but Mary was the only one who was like, I did feed one of the other mystery kids. I didn't think it was weird when Janelle's like, I never did. I'm like, okay, but you, your kid, like, she acted like it was kind of gross. And I was like, yeah, but Mary helped Maddie. Yeah. And we've all watched <laughs> the show. We've all seen this. Yeah. We know that Maddie was failure to thrive. She was eight <laughs> months old and three pounds, you know, <laughs> below her birth weight. Below her birth weight. That still, that math to me is just. <laughs> I still don't understand. Insane. I'm like, where are the pictures from that? Time? But again, we're not saying that it's Maddie, mm -mm. it's one of the children. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like Maddie was like, keep my name out of your motherfucking mouth. Well, Mary, Mary, she knows. It, yeah, she's like, mm, Maddie hates me. Yeah, I'm not gonna dig. Not gonna talk to her. No, no way. No. <laughs> then McKelty's like, the only children I've ever breastfed are my own. And Tony. And Tony. <laughs> she like they make eye contact. Like, do I tell her? You know, I I think he goes on that tit all the time. He's always like, can I have leftover milk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, after the boys are done, you mind if I get the He's leftovers? Like, do you care if I do the letdown on the other side? He's like, too bad we have twins. What's the letdown? <laughs> <laughs> like, if she's feeding from one side, the other side might be dripping, so Tony, take that side. <laughs> He did that with Avalon. Yeah. Honestly, He's like, no, I hate that there's two. <laughs> I would not be shocked to see that Avalon and Tony on the tits at the same time. <laughs> I, oh God. And I'm she's just, just holding them. Yeah. Tony said, Tony's cradled in her arm. Tony stinks. Like uh, Tony's like old, sour milk, <laughs> like sour milk left on his chin. Also, just like stinky butt. No, oh. I think Tony showers every other week. He doesn't shower much, and he never washes his hair. He's like, and it's he, bad to wash your hair every day. I'm and like, I don't think he does a good job washing his butt crack. No, <laughs> I think there's a lot going on back there. I imagine it just be red and inflamed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's go over to another lie in this story and that's Christine reacting to her second date with David and I did the producers forget that they left this clip in of, with okay. her with the sticky note I'm glad you said that because I was thinking she put that in to send to them so they knew what it was but yeah 
but then they kept it. Yeah, I think they were like, Ugh, whatever. I you feel know? like they're like the audience needs to know too. And like works. I said last week, she's talking about and and I need people to understand the difference between this. If she was in a confessional, like her normal confessional space mm-hmm. with the, on the couch. Uh, well, she's in a chair on her. Okay, whatever. If she was on her chair in her basement with her bookshelves behind her. Okay. Yeah. I would understand because those confessionals are designed to be like, we're talking about things that have happened. But and we know those are filmed late. presented to us as though, like, in oh, I just time. finished the date, but she's sitting in the driveway that her and David share together in the house that they built. <laughs> and also, let me point out that the, the neighbor's yards all, like, front yards all look done. They're, they're married at this point. They're beyond married. I honestly feel like it was last week. Probably. They're I like- feel like. Can you, we need a little something more. Yeah. It also, I mean, <laughs> okay. So like it's, it had to have been sometime when the weather was nice in Utah. Yeah. Cause it's sunny out. The mm-hmm. grass is green. It was sometime this summer. It was, uh, I'm just, it she's like, I just went nuts. on my second date with David as he's like in front of the car and she's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're getting ready to go out to dinner or something. Yeah. She's like, get out really quick. I have to film a scene. I'm just pretending I just met you for the second time. Yeah. And yeah. then it's, and, and I felt like she was tripping up too. Cause she was like, you know, it's only our second date. I mean, this is the second date. And I, the, you know, and then I did see David's cock, but not at our second date. No, no, I've not seen it yet. She's like, I mean, he didn't make any physical moves except for like, hold my hand. Did he hold my hand? I don't know. Last night we were doing it. Yeah. She's like, last <laughs> night I had my hands all over his date. David Wooly Brown. His woolly mammoth. Yeah, I got that woolly <laughs> mammoth in my hands and I'm just going to town on that thing. Like, I'm just like, why are we lying to us? I was waiting for her to hold up the sticky note with her wedding ring finger. <laughs> like, right in our face. I love that she apologized for the terrible handwriting. I was like, look, like nice handwriting. Yeah, to me. I thought it was nice. I thought it was, that's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we find out that David's sisters I mean we find out we all we know, already this, know but David's sisters live polygamy so and when so, she told him he was like oh yeah I already know about that my sisters are she's like do you want to do it because I don't want to do it again I never like, want to no, do it I'm good and he's still he's not telling her like hey I know you from the show no no just at what point did he come clean about that I like think it was clean? sometime during the second date okay but I just feel like it's weird to not be able, I don't know I feel like you should probably start with that be like hey this is going to be weird well, I've seen I feel you on like TV. You would say that before you even went out. You'd say like, "Hey, like I'm excited to go out with you, but I just want to let you know I have watched your show." Yeah, right. Like I would say that before. I'm not I met a super somebody. fan. My daughter. I'm not a is. super fan, but I know that. You're but if on I was going to fuck one of those wives, it'd be you. <laughs> I right? think you're the hottest wife. But... I think you're the hottest wife. Okay, Robin used to be, but now it's you. I think you're the hottest <laughs> you wife, glow and I would love to put you went my woolly man to, to look <laughs> yeah. looking pretty good. Okay. Speaking of frump dump. Mm-hmm. Justice for my girl Janelle once again. They're every time they show a flashback photo of Janelle, it is the worst photo. <laughs> you know, at this point, just put up headshots that Janelle does. You know, like there's a picture that Do they her put super up. Photoshop picture from the intro. Okay? Yes. <laughs> like, and that's just like anytime you talk about Janelle in the past, put that picture in place of where she's at <laughs> because it's this picture of her, Cody, and all the kids together, and they all have sunglasses on. And she is just standing there in the most unflattering pose, the worst look you've ever seen. I'm like, why do we need to go back to these? She had to submit. They submitted these when it happened. (laughs) Puddle Monkey. I honestly feel like Puddle Monkey just has pictures. Yeah. (laughs) They scanned all these in and they're just like, I don't know. Pick one. Pick one that Janelle's (laughs) in. Insert Janelle's picture. It's like the first one they drop in. Yeah. I'm just like, please, (laughs) please. Uh, I'd love to see their folders on their computer. I love Janelle. And it's yeah. just like those couple scenes of her walking the dog. Yep. And raking Maxine the leaves and, and her tongue out. And yeah. then a couple of terrible pictures. Yeah. And then Christine's folder just has like a couple in a really bad wedding dress. Yes. <laughs> they have a lot of her in her bad wedding dress. <laughs> I would love to see this. I would folders. love to see. I would love to get my hands on that whole gallery. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christine's like, you know, and it's, it's awkward bringing up polygamy with guys because they think you're all loosey goosey and you want to be part of their open marriage. And I was like, how many dates do we think she really went on? How many not guys? Many, not many. No. No. Do we think that she was on? What's that? Remember, there's a Disneyland dating app. Oh, God. Mickey. Mickey. I'm sure. Mickey wants to eat Minnie. <laughs> Something like that. Mickey and Minnie after dark. Mickey, my mini. <laughs> <laughs> something something like that <laughs> oh goodness I'm sure she brought they could have met on that they both loved it no they met on coffee and bagel or whatever. oh yeah coffee and a bagel something for people with kids right yeah okay yeah sounded stupid so her matchmakers didn't even set her up with anyone good no <laughs> she said she still had like two dates left over she's like i'll give them to janelle 
Uh, let's go to speaking of Janelle. She didn't give him to Mary though. No, Mary's match. Mary had to get her own match. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, speaking of Janelle, ten forty-five sounds like a good time for breakfast. <laughs> Listen, I'm. Hey, <laughs> it could be worse. I it could be worse, but I'm just like ten forty-five. Yeah, girl, I should wait for Gabe. He probably is sleeping. Okay, yeah, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. She looked like she had kind of just awoken herself. I don't think she's an early riser. <laughs> no, I can't imagine sleeping this late. I wish. <laughs> uh, thanks to all of the uh, people out there doing the work because people have realized that due to Gabe's hairstyle, this is actually shot probably more around the end of 2023. Or early 2024. Well, Janelle has her Christmas trees. Well, it okay. doesn't say much. <laughs> yeah, I think we can't go off that with Janelle. Janelle's probably We like can us. leave the Christmas lights up till <laughs> summer time. Yeah. <laughs> Also, speaking of her We're Christmas decor, way. I know. But uh, yeah. speaking of her Christmas decor, yeah. it is so fitting that Janelle just has three of those trees that you just plug in. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't. And then a street lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice the street see. lamp. <laughs> I just love that these like trees. It's supposed to look like dreamy. I love that the trees are just like those ones right out of the box. You put them in. You well, put we them saw up. the tree from the sad apartment. Remember? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she, I'm not that much. Work. I'm not gonna get that out of storage. And I, I mean, I, I love, <laughs> I love Gabe. I don't ever want to come for Gabe ever in my life. <laughs> but when he asked Janelle and he was like, "How do you like your eggs?" and she's like, "Runny." And then we see him just burn those eggs to a crisp. <laughs> I was like, "Well, fuck your runny eggs." <laughs> Fuck your runny eggs. Them for, I feel like he forgot what he was doing because they were like talking and filming. And yeah. it was like, by the time we were done, they were like black. <laughs> Those are black eggs. They were fried to a crisp. They were fried. And then Janelle continued to eat them with a spoon. And Gabe. They both were eating their <laughs> eggs with a spoon. And I saw Janelle's silverware drawer. She has so many spoons. <laughs> I also feel like Janelle was only unloading the dishwasher because people were coming over. <laughs> I think her and Savannah eat out of the dishwasher. Well, like, I think not eat no, out of it, but she like, has, you have to think she has enough oh, uh, stuff she to feed a them. family of 30 or whatever. You're right. And she's like, we just keep going through plates until <laughs> the dishwasher's full. Then we run it and unload it. Again. It takes a couple weeks to get it full. Yeah. You would think she just has her one plate, her one bowl, her one mm -hmm. uh, spoon. Cause she doesn't eat with a fork apparently. Uh, but I was no. like, maybe I could have given you the spoon to eat your eggs if they were runny, but they were no, <laughs> <laughs> Was, never seen so many yeah, eggs honestly spoon. you needed a sharp knife to cut those eggs <laughs> they were crisp <laughs> now gabe's good at a lot of things but maybe not eggs <laughs> no not eggs or maybe doing two things at once i don't maybe. know what it was but i you know you know how i feel about janelle's kitchen and <laughs> i i had to do a deep dive we're here for the hard-hitting journal <laughs> yes i went through and i counted Janelle has 27 cabinets in her kitchen. Okay. She has 10 drawers. Okay. 27 cabinets, 10 drawers. Okay. Plus there's pretty a pretty big kitchen, pretty big kitchen for 1100 square also, feet. Also coming from an apartment who probably had like three cabinets. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, and there's also a closet right there that like, you know, could be if a you, pantry. If you, it could be or not like, okay. you know, you could, if you needed space. Okay. But instead, I'm going to run through a list of things that we see on Janelle's countertops uh, and fridge. And they live there. These aren't not put away. No. These are, this is, they're in their spot. Okay. There was not a lick of counter space, like on the back end. Yeah. That wasn't accounted for. No, but also in appliances. like in, you're saying they live there, obviously, because what is she making that she needs all this shit out for? Uh, you know, like, also, does she have a catering business? She's also said before, like, it's hard to cook for just one person. I'm like, so she's probably doing a lot of takeout. Yeah. Or, or like out. a freezer meal. Yeah. And, and we have all these. She's appliances. got 8 million different ways to cook that freezer meal. We have an air fryer, KitchenAid mixer, blender, electric can opener, toaster oven. That's like a 10 in one. Yeah. A toaster. In the case to that toaster oven is probably a toaster, toaster oven oven air fryer all in everything. one right. and the, but she still needs everything else yes <laughs> uh paper towels coffee grinder kleenex coffee maker knife set which is a very extensive 
knife set. They would add like 50 knives in it. <laughs> uh, tea kettle, cooking, baking utensils in a tin with half ripped off a uh, price tag on it. Okay. She I, was just like, I just turned mine around. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to, but it had gotten turned a little bit. Flour, sugar, brown sugar, Tostitos. You got to have the syrups. Tostitos. <laughs> brown sugar oh tositas olive oil bananas balsamic oil candles water bottle or possibly a cocktail shaker <laughs> red solo so. cup swerve sugar red cord a red <laughs> extension cord just strewn about which what she is was, that plugged she into was plugging something from the island in all the way across the kitchen what is going on in this house <laughs> it's two people open up those i and- love it. it's like i spy over in janelle's kitchen it we really had so is. much fun <laughs> Like, what is that on top of the fridge? And And I was like, swerve sugar. (laughs) We couldn't even place all the stuff on top of the fridge. I hope that's a cocktail shaker. It's there's so much (laughs) shit. And then I also want to point out that in one cupboard, she has coffee mugs, cups, plates and bowls so, so what, what is, is in all of the other cabinets <laughs> it's not appliances <laughs> what the fuck are you putting in your cabinets and you no just idea. moved in <laughs> and you have- you had a blank slate <laughs> you had a blank slate that and you, you came- could just put stuff like away and she came from a much smaller space and and four <laughs> of those cabinets are intended to be like a pantry i imagine <laughs> those drawers pull out it's insane to me how does she not have room for this stuff she may be the queen in our eyes, but she's also the appliance queen. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I mean, I'll give her the And choice. honestly, this is where I think Robin's like, she didn't prioritize her money. I'm like, yeah, because she spent a shit ton of money on appliances. <laughs> goodness. And also her fridge light doesn't work. She'd benefit from the butler's pantry that Robin and Cody have. Oh gosh. <laughs> her it's fridge a- light doesn't work? No. Darn it. She needs to call me. And I don't, know if the, I don't know if it came with the apartment or she brought her own fridge. Oh, it probably came with it. It didn't quite fit in there okay so she probably probably yeah and i was like get your fridge light fixed sister come on her ice maker doesn't work either and the fridge also was full of condiments she needs an ice maker on the countertop (laughs) (laughs) she's missing one and i know the pizza pizzazz must be in the cabinet (laughs) yeah we've not gotten eyes on the pizza pizzazz again i guess she has one she has one i i will i would pay you know what I would pay for a Janelle cameo and say, can you just open up all your cabinets and let me see what they look like? I've got to see what you have in there. Please. Because there's too much on the countertop. Please just show us what you're working with. And I'm surprised she's not one of those people um, that puts, have you ever seen people, they just leave like their, their pots and pans on the stove. Have you seen that? Well, she did because the one that they made (laughs) eggs in was on it and the tea kettle was on the stove. Okay. Right. And honestly, there's probably shit in the oven too. Oh, that's where the rest of the baking is. I'm just like Janelle. Her pots and pans live in the oven. You know what are those ladies? The home edit. Yeah. I'm gonna pay for the home edit ladies. <laughs> what was their names? Clara. I don't. Clara I hated and something. Them. Yeah. I hate them you so know. much. But I would love for Janelle to get on their show. You're right. Or and Marie Kondo. <laughs> Marie Kondo would have a heart attack if she walked into Janelle's space. Nothing would spark joy. Oh, no. It's, it's insane. Appliances spark joy to Janelle. Oh my God. She loves. It's honestly, this is what I needed to buckle up. She loves Bed Bath & Beyond with a coupon. Oh yeah. That's when where these when Mary from. said buckle up, I think it was about the appliances. She's like, you guys aren't going to believe what Janelle's got going on in that kitch. <laughs> I know oh. we've spent a lot of time on this. Yes. But this is the important thing. Right. I also want to point out that in Janelle's apartment is an orange chair that we see in season one, episode one. At that time, it looked like a chair from Goodwill. She's brought it with her. It's the travel. <laughs> She's like, the it's traveling a great chair. chair. It works, you know. What? Why? But she put the boot lamp away. No. <laughs> Where's the oh, we kept lamp? the chair out? Yeah. That would have been good for storage. I love when Gabe called out Cody's hot water with lemon. Oh my and they're God. like, yeah, he's peculiar. Well, I love it because Janelle's like, oh, you know, like your dad had some particular way of doing the eggs. He wanted to put the cap. I'm like, well, his might not have been burnt. <laughs> maybe, he didn't bur- maybe there's some maybe science there's something behind to this. It. Oh, he's like, yeah, and he's got to have a water, uh, a cup full of hot water and a bunch of lemons. I'm like, we've seen that. I wonder what when that started. I don't. And why? I think he learned about it for his digestive issues, mm-hmm. you know, because he's got the uh, in case gluten. he get glutened. Yeah, in case he gets glutened, he's <laughs> got to put the hot water to kind of help absorb all that. The acidic and, taste of the lemon. I think <laughs> Cody tracks his BMs. Yeah. His bowel movements. <laughs> I think that he's got a little, jur- he's got all those journals. And in one journal, he tracks like, okay, today. I had- he probably just like gets a baby app. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I think he likes a handwritten okay. note. I think he likes to he just... He wants to make sure he's right. And then he writes the consistency down. <laughs> this was like a, a DQ soft served. He's like, part this of my a, <laughs> This is a soup. Blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit turds. <laughs> <laughs> nice and hearty <laughs> okay here's what i want to point out okay. because somebody came after me a little bit because they were like i think that you guys think christine moved on just because she's married and mary hasn't moved on yet because she's not married and i was like first of all no because i don't believe christine has moved on christine's no, that's still why talking she's, about that's it why she's so petty and i don't believe Ma mary could get married a thousand times she'll never move on and she's still you know who's moved on janelle janelle just doesn't care. janelle don't give a shit janelle's indifferent at this point people who don't cry about it have moved on you know what i mean yes. like i feel like mary's still like but lays also in bed people and is like who don't feel the need to like shove it in your face how happy yes. they are if yeah. you're happy you're just happy mm -hmm. you know you don't feel the need to go get nachos with your new hubby and talk mm -hmm. about how these are the famous nachos you ate that made cody see yeah. you you're still thinking about him yeah mm -hmm. he's still on your mind mm -hmm. janelle honestly is like i forget about cody she's like who's cody oh yeah, yeah. Him. <laughs> i was sad to find out that savannah sees cody just mm -hmm. Once every couple months, mm -hmm. they do something fun, and she's like, "You know what? It's fine. That's she's like I'm fine with that. It's just that's how like, he is. Yeah, whatever." Like, and Janelle's have to like, settle. "She hasn't seen him at all this year." Yeah. I'm like, "Yikes!" Yeah, and we don't know what year. So that he's not is. even calling every couple. months. We don't know if this is 2023, 2022, or 2024. I think it's that we're the end of 2023, and he hasn't seen her all year. Wow. Yeah, when and she's like, "It's fine." I'm, I thought it was just also cute though, and she said, "Like, I'm just gonna have my brothers walk me down the aisle when I get married someday." Almost almost for almost tear. tears i know almost i know tears. but then she's I lucky was, she's got, got here's the thing good brothers, i was about too. to cry but then i was taken over with anger again because i saw janelle's appliances <laughs> and i was like never mind <laughs> Forget it. somebody put those appliances away is it amazing though that this man did i mean i guess never mind we should give janelle the credit raised what? all those boys who are like such no, good give people. daddy logan the daddy credit. logan and yeah. janelle raised those boys daddy logan and daddy logan janelle was a, daddy boys. logan and christine raised those kids <laughs> okay you know all right because we look at christine's kids and they're all kind of you know weird yeah they needed daddy logan's help yes yeah. but daddy logan was focused on his siblings yeah so his children his children <laughs> I'll never forget the scene of him waking up at five in the morning, making breakfast for all this and getting siblings. everyone off to school. I know. And right? Cody's like busy, like, Oh, sorry. I can't come help you. And no wonder now he's like, hey, I don't really know if I want kids I already raised a couple. Yeah. <laughs> he's already been through that. And you know, Cody was probably asleep in one of the other wife's houses while he was doing that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He's like, I'm not an early riser. Mm -hmm, no. <sighs> so You've got it. Gabe reveals to us. He's like, yeah, dad hit me up. And he's like, you know, I miss you, buddy, but I'm still waiting on that apology. <laughs> you know, that apology I said I don't need. I just want to talk with you. And when that talk happens, I'd love if it was, you know, a talk of you apologizing to me. Mm -hmm. And Gabe's like, what the fuck do I have to apologize for? Like, what am I apologizing for? And he said after like a while, he didn't respond or something. And then Cody was like, you know what? I forgive you. Do you forgive me? He's like, for what? What, am I, what are you forgiving me for? He's like, I'm just really not sure why I, I need to you. be forgiven. Yeah. Okay. And I think in Cody's mind. Of course, this is what Cody would text. It's like, he hasn't talked to him in right. like so long. And he'd be like, I forgive you. But will you forgive me? It's like, you're not even, he doesn't even want to talk about it. He doesn't even want to go there. In Cody's mind, he's like, oh, I have bent over backwards for Gabriel. You know, I sent him that text and I said, I forgive you. All right. As now, I was snowboarding because I <laughs> wanted him to see how cool I looked in my new gear. <laughs> well, the new gear that I bought. Yeah. Yeah. You know, shields. <laughs> I look so good in that shit. And I'm just like, this man. He's so terrible. It's so sad. It is really sad. Because I really do feel like when we go back, was well, Cody, Janelle said like Gabe was Cody's little buddy. Like he would take heart. him on business trips and stuff like that. And now it's like he can't even bother to like call him up. And Gabe even said to him, like, hey, you know, if you're not gonna take accountability and apologize, like we don't need to have a relationship. I'm like, you know, I, he, he's got boundaries. And something I'm here for we it. skipped over. What? Was <laughs> Cody uh telling McKelty and Tony that they should all get a big house together and oh my God, how did we skip? <laughs> There was just so we were talking about the placenta, you know, I was I was on the placenta road straight to the appliances, <laughs> the big stuff, the big stuff. All right. When but, he said and when he looked at Robin and he's like, I should probably should have asked you first, but I'm going to bring it up anyways. I think we should buy a big house and we should all live together. I'm like, 
Robin but immediately you is like, out. no, no, no. Uh, they, they need to live their own life. Fuck no, Cody. She's Only like, our Cody, kids. I need all the room for all my jewelry and art. <laughs> yeah. And I also want to have more appliances than Janelle. <laughs> I'm in a race with Janelle to get appliances. Oh my God. No, but I'm like, okay, you want them to move in with you so you can help with the kids and stuff, but you wanted Gabe and Garrison to be kicked out yeah. of Janelle's house. Like but nothing makes sense for with you. Robin to come in and say, oh, they need to live their own life. What about your kids? Ariel or Ariola, <laughs> Wawa and Brianna are like heading towards their forties at this point. <laughs> and it's like, they need to get out in the world. Yeah, they do. Dayton is living in a trailer behind your house. And, and I comes fear that their the new potty. house they bought is so that the kids can stay longer, you know? Yeah. I, oh, I, I feel so. like it's like, we need, they need a ensuite. suite, you they, know? Yeah. A guest house. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So they can stay forever. Yeah. I, it's insane. To, this <laughs> also, whole... when McKelty's like, uh, no, I'm like, hell oh, no. good for you. Hell no. Hell no. But She's... also like, hell no to living with Tony McKelty. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you know who's got it made? Dayton. Yeah. Dayton's living in that trailer away from everybody. <laughs> it's the only thing is if he, could, he does real nice. <laughs> if he could figure out how to get a bathroom in there, that would <laughs> if be. If he could get a shower every now and great. again. <laughs> um, so this I thought was interesting. Janelle start with, you know, we talk about how COVID is really what broke up the family, but Janelle's like, honestly, my kids feel like COVID presented Cody with the opportunity to live the life he always wanted with I his favorite wife. Fully what it was. Oh, for sure. Cody was like, Oh, this is a great opportunity to be like, sorry, can't go to anyone else's houses. Can't. Cause I think he was already doing that, but I think this made the transition how a lot easier. Dare they say that I was looking eye to eye with the grim reaper. I had 99 degree fever and I was looking right at the Grim Reaper. The way he acts like he possibly was about to die. And as someone insane. who over exaggerates their illness, <laughs> I don't even think it wasn't I'm even this 100 bad. degree fever. It no. was 99. 99. 98.6 is regular. <laughs> I was staring the Grim Reaper down, just eye to eye, me and you, buddy. Oh my and God. I he's going to The get theatrics. Me. It's insane. Cody. It really is just like. But he's like, that no, is not why. But he why. plays it up so that he can make it. I was trying to save my family. Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to save my family. Mm -hmm. So now this is interesting because Janelle's like, yeah, Cody at one point told all of his kids, like, I wish I had just waited and married Robin. And Cody's like, I never said that. All right. That was a misunderstanding that has now turned into a gossip in the family <laughs> and i'm like well what did you say yeah. that they misinterpreted what was the misunderstanding how did everybody misinterpret that? and janelle's like yeah my kids have a lot of stories like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And cody's like this is like the telephone game where one gossip starts and then it goes to people and by the end it's a whole other gossip Shut the fuck up. First of all, we know how telephone works. He's so obsessed with Second the Second of all, though. what did you say? Cop up to it. Tell yeah. us what you did say. Well, we've heard him say a million times, I don't love any of my other wives, so there's a start. He does say that, but then he's like, I was, I love my wives and my kids, and that's why I was protecting them from the COVID and the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Oh, what he is literally it? Janelle had it, and he didn't go over. <laughs> Let's not forget. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. wanted to keep them all protected but he couldn't care like to go help them when they got it and he thought they were gonna die from it i want to know at what point did janelle become miserable in her marriage because she tells gabe she's like you know i held on for as long as i could and then i saw he was a bad dad you and i was like all right i'm done i feel like she was saying like i haven't liked him for a long time yeah she kept, you know when you guys were growing up i kept him there when uh, do we think okay. they stopped their full fellowship, though? Mm. Do we think that they ever fucked in the fifth I will? think Flagstaff ended a lot of things for a lot of people. I feel like they moved to Flagstaff and Cody stopped fucking anyone else. Okay. Yeah. Even Janelle? Even Janelle. I mean, he stopped fucking Mary in Vegas. Uh, Mary was done after the cat. Honestly, Lehigh. Maybe I don't before. know if Mary was getting it in <laughs> Lehigh. Right. I don't think so. But I feel like Janelle. Janelle, I don't. I feel like once they moved to Flagstaff, the Cody didn't even stay the night. makes me think that Janelle's a horny girl you know she's just she, using him yeah all right i she's mean like, i'm here for that up. for her yeah <laughs> <laughs> hope she was kind of a dominatrix with him. <laughs> oh my goodness um now gabe says that he thinks robin has a victim complex he's like i don't blame her for it. you know we all cope in different <laughs> ways she's just a fucking victim for <laughs> everything and i don't really have a lot of respect for her it's like mm -hmm. nope well, you know what? Don't put it lightly. <laughs> Don't put it lightly. I was so happy to hear that Gabe is getting therapy, though. Yes. Because I think all these kids need it. Every single person. Especially if they're watching the show. And Janelle's like, yeah, I think, you know, I think we could probably all use therapy. I'm like, yeah, 
let's start that process. Yeah, why don't we get them all? I honestly feel like I need therapy watching. And she this. even said she's like, I thought like, you know, maybe like you and your dad could go to therapy together or something. I feel like Gabe's like, it's past that point. Like, I don't even want to try. Yeah. Uh Janelle's kids are all very leery of Robin because they say that they feel like anytime they say something, she's waiting like with bated breath to, to turn, turn around, around and make it something else. Uh she too fully does that. So I just like I feel like she does that with her kids too. Like I wish they would get into a little bit more about like what her kids think the other siblings say about them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I feel like they leave that out, but I feel like I honestly feel like if we would I feel bring- like they like are like in class so they don't answer like Aurora's text right away and then she's like they don't even text her back yeah yeah I here's what I think I think that if we bring the whole family together for a tell-all reunion situation Mm -hmm. we would get through so many of the issues so fast and everyone would just be like oh Cody's to blame yeah you know I feel like they'd Uh be like wait I never said that and then you said that no I never said that that would probably be so healing for them to all sit in a room and do one group therapy session and we should get cameras on it (laughs) yeah well um, obviously you know and I would even let Nancy host it you would Uh, I'm desperate how about Pat okay Pat. no Pat let Cody get away with oh that's true yeah okay Nancy 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 let's get it maybe we could get a counselor from NAU they make it available to their children to the kids there What Janelle saying available? They make the <laughs> counselors available to them. At NAU, we listened to it like five times, and like, she says available, available, available. I, I, I like that the counselors are available <laughs> to them. They are available to the kids and the students. And okay. Available. I will say though. Yes. And I think I maybe said this last week or the week before that I think Brianna is the worst of Robin's kids. And okay. you say I hate Aurora. Yeah. Gabe said I would like to have a relationship with Aurora. We were best friends in middle school, and I would like to. I'm like that. Well, further, they were the same age, but it further proves my point that Brianna's the worst. And he did say like, I, I used to want to pick up Dayton. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. I think Brianna is mini Robin. Okay. I will say, I don't that, like Aurora. It's not like I'm on her side. I'm just saying, I don't think she's the worst. One. I think they're the worst in different ways. Okay. I think Awoa is the worst because she's just like a big giant baby. Yeah. And I can't well, I stand hated her. her when she was young and she was like, daddy, daddy, daddy. And I think that she still plays with like dolls. Yeah. I'm sure she puts them in compromising positions, but you know, <laughs> no, she does not. Oh, she's like holier than thou. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think Brianna's a bitch. Okay. And Brianna used to always cry. Yeah. So I, I can, can see see, yes, I think, they're, okay. I think they're both the worst. I just want to be in agreement that the worst kid is Brianna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We can go with that. Yeah. I would like to go with that. Okay. Um, Janelle's kids also believe that there was a lot of manipulation and ego stroking from Robin to Cody. Mm-hmm. Like, so is it like, Cody's just like, yeah, y'all. I think what it is. I think Cody likes Robin because she's like, yes, baby. Mm-hmm. Yo, you're so great. Oh my, you're, you're the so best smart. husband. You're the best father. And he's like, oh, you're so loyal. You give me so many compliments. Why would I want to be with these other ladies who are like telling me to take the trash out? Oh, you know what I mean? I come over and it's like the first thing they do is like, here's your honeydew list. Yeah, Robin never did that. Yeah, Robin will because Robin was paying a task. She'll rabbit. hire a task. Rabbit. She, it's like I love that I don't have to work at Robin's. Yeah, I just get to go yeah. and have fun. She loves me. We just get to go shopping. Go shopping, get some David Gurman. Has anyone found Robin's necklace that she's wearing in the confessional? Because we've so tried ugly, looking. And I need to know how much she spent on it because it's the ugliest it piece I've ever It just looks seen. like molten lava. We into tried to a Google image necklace. Search, search it. But Couldn't find, find it. it. Because it um, just looks like a blob. Maybe someone owns it. I hope not. Oh. And you can tell us how much you paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone else is going to own it's it. It's so ugly. Please. And if you do have it, please return it. Uh, Gabe said, he's like, you know, I had to sit down with dad. And I think he hated that I was cool, calm, collected. Because he was like, you know what? You're not loyal just like your mother. And he's like, sorry, mom. She was like, I don't give a fuck. I know. I love that she was like, yeah, it's fine. You can eat the rest of that burnt egg or can I have it? Like Janelle's so unfazed by all of this. But that's why I feel like she is the most like, even though she was sort of like the last to yes. leave, she is just so unfazed. Yeah. She's like, I don't care. Like, honestly, lose my number. Uh, it's, I feel a little chill coming. I think we're going over to Mary's big house. <laughs> big empty I feel, house. I hear an echo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> Mary starts off by her own in her own filmed confessional. Again, no one cares to come over and hear Mary's story. Uh, She's like, it has been an interesting year to say the least. I'm like, for who, Mary? We all (laughs) For Mary, because she finally woke up and realized Cody wasn't coming, even after he said it straight to her face. I don't know what's been an interesting year for you. That's how delusional she is. She's just like, oh, man, it has been crazy. She's like, you guys know me and Cody broke (laughs) up. I didn't think you guys 
guys were together. You haven't been together. He has never, he doesn't even know where you live. I am in shock. He has to ask production for your address he, and your phone number. He doesn't give a rip about you, Mary. And she's like, it has been great. You guys, you're never, the whiplash you guys are about to feel. you guys believe me and Cody? Oh Dunzo. my God, Dunzo. Wow. <laughs> so she has started the process of getting a spiritual release from the church. The big release. The big release. And I'm like, girl, you need another big release. You need a fucking orgasm do we think she masturbates or like hooks up with people no okay i don't think what she... about amos um i think that her and amos did dry humping okay yeah <laughs> that was and it. i think that um they saw each other like in the shower but like in passing oh okay yeah i feel like mary's like no not till i married oh <laughs> give me a break you're seriously. not allowed to see me um so mary's like yeah i texted cody and was like hey do you want to be involved with this release but i never heard back <laughs> the message never said delivered so i don't really know but i guess not really sure i guess you know yeah. it's probably he's probably just upset <laughs> he's so <laughs> upset about it i love when robin's like oh cody's really heartbroken cut to cody's like oh i'm so relieved <laughs> thank god that's finally done that was editing gold that was one point for put on the one editor. moment where they were like all right let's let's get the She's audience like, he's laugh. really broken up about it he wishes this isn't the way it ended and he's like thank god thank god it's over i can finally breathe i got rid of I that hear one. angel singing finally <laughs> lord i lift your name on high He's so happy. Oh my God. He's but like, Mary's like, God, Mary. He's like, I've told you it's over forever. I'm glad you finally got what you needed. This isn't, this isn't what I wanted to do. You know, it's, it's been heartbreaking for me. I'm like, Mary, how is she heartbroken? I'm like, he's treated you like shit for so long. Like I'm not a Mary fan, but I'm also like, go, go like be in a better place. Like don't have someone be mean to you for this long. And for Mary to Worthy be like, up. you Take know what? Advice. I'm, I'm actually going to be taking down the pictures of me and Cody <laughs> and my house. Like, you moved into this. You've had four houses in Flagstaff and you moved several times. You moved to this house. You guys were definitely done. You're like, I got to hang up our pictures together. The pictures of them and the motorcycle. That's my favorite. I love one. that one. They're, they're just, long hair. They're so hot. They were feeling themselves. Oh, also, I, like Cody doesn't even know how to ride a motorcycle. That's oh, the best part. No. no. <laughs> but I did things like Mary, okay. Like, I feel like she was like so dramatic. Like, I have to take the, I guess I'm gonna take the pictures down. She's probably gonna do a bonfire and be like, just another picture to burn. <laughs> <laughs> I put your picture away. <laughs> Sat down and cried today. That's totally what Mary was listening she to. She listens to that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you just you watch like god ah, kid rocking chair the bro. poor fucking ups man <laughs> shows up and he's like oh she's listening to it again she only listens to like sad breakup songs she's yeah. like oh good another time i can listen to taylor swift's album <laughs> <laughs> i put your picture away but there's and, an echo on it because there's nothing else in the uh, house i'm sure that mary's next like embarrassing instagram reel is gonna be like we are never ever ever getting back together <laughs> Mary, and this is what I'm and saying. Like her, she went out and had to buy herself spearmint gum because you know I don't like spearmint. <laughs> and then she bought it just to make a video of her throwing it in the trash I can. Know. And then what was the next video where she was dancing? Get and a it made life. No sense. You're a dork. <laughs> Honestly, like the best way I can put it is like you're a dork. Honestly, Mary, if you want to be the next like Tony Robbins or something like that, I have a plan for you. Yeah, write a tell-all book and tell us everything. That's the only thing that's gonna make you like. She, but she can't write about the past 10 years she wasn't around you're right you know <laughs> what's she gonna the last 10 years i did a lot of lula row and <laughs> stuff buckle up baby buckle up this is quite the episode <laughs> and, and we find wait. out that I, mary got granted the release because it was abandonment on cody's part which <laughs> cody doesn't like to say that that you know he doesn't I like love that, that she had word. to give a reason like abandonment like it was going to court <laughs> oh okay wow. wow yeah and cody's just Getting really upset on the charges and cody's like yeah i talked to those leaders i have no respect for them but they said some stuff that really upset me so i'm not going to talk about it here why are we on a show you can't just keep telling us like there's nothing worse than when someone's like i'm not gonna talk about i'm not it. gonna talk about it mm -hmm. well now I, I didn't care before but now i do i'm sure they just said like you're giving us a bad name <laughs> who cares <laughs> i know he doesn't even care about the church so why does he care no one cares about the aub just the like ob. christine who's like i don't respect those people that's like that lady who's on tiktok who like goes and talks about her dad's like the leader or the prophet of the aub or something like that i don't know who she is i'm just like 
Oh, I don't really it's care. Like Christine's family? Thought no. They were like the leaders. No. Okay. But she said that her dad like hates Cody. and it's, okay. But it's not, I don't find, people are like, oh my God, this woman's reveling at all. And I was like, I watch and I'm just like, Boy. not really because they don't even like that. So it yeah. doesn't matter. It doesn't it's not matter. like they've been kicked out of their own thing. And like they left willingly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't so know. yeah, Cody's heartbroken. He's, <laughs> He's heartbroken. so happy. So heartbroken He's like, about it. Robin. And it's like, can you guys line your stories before you do this? Can you sit down and be like, Robin, make sure you, I just want you to know I'm going to be saying how happy I am that Mary's gone. She's like, she probably thinks like, she's so delusional that she's like, Cody, like you're going to make it look like you're upset. Right. And he's like, sure. And then he gets in there and he's like, I can't hide my feelings. Oh my God. <laughs> Never been happier to finally get rid of that. He's like, Rob, and if I act like I miss her, she'll come right back. <laughs> I think, you know what though? I think right now. Cody's feeling that hurt. I think that he is missing Mary because he's like, we have to move from this house to another one. We don't have Mary. I know. We have a Woa. A Woa has no, no upper body strength. They're hiring movers, I hope. Ugh. They could have saved a lot of money if he was just a little bit nicer <laughs> to Mary and let her come to Christmas one more time. Maybe maybe she came back. He helped her move. That's next week's episode or something. No, that's not oh, for a while. And a couple. Yeah. All right. Next week is Cody going over to Mary's house. Mm-hmm. Which, yeah. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, now, Mary's upset because she's like, Cody's just, you know, changing the narrative and, you know, saying that he never loved me. And I know he did. I know you did, Cody. <laughs> I know you always loved me, Cody. Which I'll give her that. He did love her at one point, but it's been a long time, Mary. Move on. Move on. Move on. Do you think she's trying to copy Christine with the petty stories? Yes. Okay. Like she's like, oh, this people are loving it when Christine does it. Yeah. Okay. And it's like, but you just look sad. Yeah, you look like a sad copy. Yeah. Yeah. I think and it's, it's sad. honestly. I think it's, it's getting, sad when Christine does it. <laughs> it's getting old from Christine. But it's really sad when you <laughs> do it. And I, I'm still wondering, like Mosby dog was yeah. Mary just always had Mosby dog? No, it's just old footage from when she babysat him for a little bit, oh or when they came. Remember, I think Leon and Audrey stayed with Mary for a little bit during COVID. Okay. It's from then. Like it's it's self filmed footage. These people <laughs> at Puddle Monkey get off. They their don't ass. have anything new, but Mosby Dog is still with us. Okay, glad Mosby Dog <laughs> is still with us. Um, Robin starts crying. They do this flashback scene of her, Cody, and Mary all hanging out together in Mary's kitchen, and you know Mary sneaks a kiss from Cody, and Robin turns and away. And Robin's like, "You want me to leave so you guys can kiss?" And Cody's disgusted. Yeah. I mean, in that moment, that was, was in like, Vegas. Rentals. That was the rentals in Vegas. Yeah. And he was like, oh, God. the last time he liked Mary was when she had her boobs out in the caverns. Do we think that <laughs> in Mexico. Cody feels like he's cheating on Robin if ever he's intimate with his other wives? Yes. He's like, I'm cheating on my girl. Yeah. Oh. I do. Okay. I feel like for a while he's like, okay, it's like, this is what we do. But then he started feeling like, I only have one true love. Only one girl. One true love. <laughs> and imagine it being her. <laughs> okay. I I need a clarifying question. Okay. I need a clarifying answer. I'm not really sure. 1 a.m. on Christmas Eve. Is that Christmas Day? Or is that Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve. I feel like she was like, it's Christmas Eve. Okay. And I'm up at 1 a.m. Okay. And tonight's Christmas Eve. At 1 a.m., Robin is still business casual. I think that, like, I, I want to see Robin without her hair like that. We saw it at Christine's wedding. But Does she I, never sleep? But, like, I'm starting to think, I felt like she only slept, but now I'm starting to feel like she doesn't go to sleep. And that's she's why not she's turtle. so low energy. Yes. Yeah. Like, I thought she never got out of bed, but I think it's the opposite. Like, she doesn't get in. Like, bed. why are you up at 1 a.m.? What are in you your do- business clothes? In your business and get comfortable. And also, like, like, does she also have business cash pajamas? Is this fake though? Like, who thinks to be like, I'm gonna get out my camera and self film right now at 1 a.m. while I'm, while I'm crying? I'm like, what? You and Cody just fucked? Like, why? Why are you up at 1 a.m.? Well, she, probably because Ariel is running around like crazy. She's <laughs> like, I gotta keep Ariel away from her. She doesn't corn sleep. dogs. <laughs> 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 she breaks into the fridge at nighttime. <laughs> but here's, a, and I also thought it was so weird because after getting to see their house on the listing and stuff, it's like the bathroom is right off the bedroom and there's not a door separating it. So it's like, it. why'd you go in there? Oh, like you, she was trying to be private, but it yeah, wasn't private. It wasn't yeah. private. Cody could have heard everything you said. Who know, what, why did you film yourself doing this? Yeah, she's going to be sad. That's what I think. You know, like, can you imagine being like having a breakdown, being like, grab my phone. Special and (laughs) sweet holiday, you know? Oh, I love to. They're just like, I'm just 
this is going to be the first holiday where it's like just us. I'm like, it's basically been just you guys the whole time. Here's if you really pay attention to, <laughs> to what she's saying, she's not saying like, I am so sad about our family and the state that it's in. I wish that we could start healing these relationships. She says, I'm sad that I'm not getting my perfect Christmas. <laughs> I'm sad that it's not going to be the day I want it to be. I'm you sad that my kids are going to get their scratchy Christmas pajamas from Mary. <laughs> my kids are always just left out. You know, it's just not fair. That's what she's yeah. saying. She's focused on, she's upset because of how this is impacting her, her special and sweet perfect. day. Yeah. You know? That's it's just insane to me how this woman like or maybe it was 1 a.m. Christmas Day. That's what I was thinking. Because she'd stayed up late putting presents together. Maybe that's what I was like, oh, I built Aurora her new bike. <laughs> <laughs> and I got her the Barbie dream house. <laughs> we just put together Saul's like giant gaming console. Somebody said a Lego expert weighed mm -hmm. in on it and said that they thought the amount of Legos in Saul Salmonella's room. $15,000. Holy shit. Can you imagine? No, on Legos? I fucking hate Legos. No way. I hate Legos with a I, passion. Yeah. I'm just like... I'd rather my kid be doing Legos than video games, though. No, for sure, but I just still hate them. Yeah. Play also, with a Lincoln log many? if you want to build shit, you know? <laughs> Go get some power tools and let's build something for real. <laughs> yeah, come on! <laughs> let's bust down some walls. So many Legos. Wow, they spend so much money. What do you think it means to have a spine of concrete and stale? <laughs> Robin's always know. had well, that. Yes, Isabel probably has some steel in her spine as well. Right? I'm like, first of all, be careful what you say about anyone's spine. Yeah. Because there's because one person. You didn't person go to her who... surgery. No. Mm -mm. It was also pointed out. We knew that Christine's beautiful vacation was Yezebel's surgery. Yeah. But I didn't realize Janelle's luxurious vacation. During COVID when he kept saying like, they're going on vacation. It's like, Maddie's daughter had a limb amputated and, and she Janelle went there went to, to help. Be there. And which further pointed out what a piece of shit Cody is that he has not seen her since she had the amputation or go there to help nope. or help Maddie with Axel. Like any, not, like he doesn't even care. He needs to be there to help. He's Robin a piece of shit. Those kids. Also, it was also pointed out, which we got to come back and just clear this up that when Cody said, um, at the wedding that he found, that's when he found out that Maddie was pregnant. Yeah. She had announced it on her social media three months before that. So he, Oh, wasn't somebody the even, other day said they, he wasn't even sure about that. <laughs> she posted it on Instagram. The world knew. I got to check this, but someone said they think that Cody's Instagram is gone. Oh, no. They, uh, they came back and said they were just blocked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what an honor, honestly. Oh my Do you God. see it? Is it still there? Um, or are you blocked too? Caitlin. Are you stop. blocked? <laughs> what? Maybe it's just gone. Do you have a, do you have a, like, a fake account? <laughs> Yes, I I have another account okay. that I could go to. That wouldn't be associated. I think. Oh, oh shoot. my God. Is he on to us? Caitlin! <laughs> did he really? You look on your phone. Where's my phone? Oh, my <laughs> God. See. All right. This is Well, wild. if he blocked you, he probably blocked me. Cody Anything? Brown. No, there is nothing coming up for Cody Maybe Brown. Maybe he deleted it. I'm. He had to have deleted it, right? Uh, yeah, it's gone for me, too. Okay, there's no way he knew about all no. of us. Okay, phew. Oh, there's a fake account for him, though. The truck? Cody Browning. Father of 18, husband of four. Love them all. Passionate about individual rights. Official private account at OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> there's one that's like Cody's pussy truck or something like that. It's that <laughs> Nissan truck that he had. Who makes this? I don't know. I mean, who makes this podcast? True. Do you think Robin's on Ambien? I yes. When she's in this, you know what? That would make moment. so much sense why she has so much shit that she paid so much money for. Yes, Ambien's like known for people like staying up late and like ordering, ordering shit off commercials and like yep. ordering things they don't remember. Remember, we had a friend who was like a whole home gym showed up on my doorstep, and I was like, "When did I order that?" Yes, <laughs> yeah. I feel because she's sitting here talking, and she's just like, "And I'm just like, I'm living on my prayers to." The only thing that keeps in my head above water is prayers right now. And QVC packages. And David Yurman and David art. Yerman. Is all their art from one artist? Do we know? A lot of it is, okay. but not all of it. All right. Not okay. all of it. What an honor. Yeah. <laughs> that artist lucked out because no one else was buying it. <laughs> it's honest. It's the ugliest shit I've ever seen. It's so bad. It's. I mean, apologies if the artist is listening, but yeah. your work sucks. Your work is not great. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go flashback to the the cabin, mm -hmm. the very sick cabin. I like, <laughs> just not like it used to be. And I was like, flashback to like 
all 40 of you piling into the tiny Bogged cabin where windows. everyone was coughing. <laughs> and just like, eh, eh, bleh, eh. And, I'm like and everyone's opening their scrub pajamas from Mary. Doing a fashion show. I just, Actually, those were good times. Uh, it was a good time, but I also felt like, God, I, anytime we go to that scene, I feel, feel so sick. sick. I know. I'm just like, so I we, can't be we in catch, here. We catch a cold from it. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, and that's the also where Mary falls, goes on the sled into the house. Yes. <laughs> Good time. And they can't get the cars there, so they have to go on the yes. snowmobiles. Yeah. It's a great, a, it was a time. great trip. It was a great time for all mm-hmm. of us, you know? I can't wait to revisit that one. Oh, uh, so <laughs> Cody's like, you know what? I do have a prayer. I pray every day to God that he saves me and Robin. You have <laughs> one prayer. You have a genie in front of you. You got one wish, and it's that he saves you and Robin, not you and your kids. I know. So he was saying last week during the conversation in the snow where he's like, you know what? I think we just start with just making sure we're good. We just focus on us right now. Here's the thing. I don't Robin's care about it not people. going anywhere. No. Okay. So to waste your prayers on the woman who's not going anywhere. You're, that's such a waste. You know, that shows you how waste crazy. your prayers on your kids. That's how delusional and crazy he is that he doesn't care about his kids. He's he like, does I not. don't want this to come between us. My beloved to me, I want to stop fighting with you. Over that my was like the final nail kids. in the coffin yeah. of like, if I'm your kids and I hear that you have all these bad relationships that's with what your I'm kids. Circling back to the beginning. Yeah. This is sad and dark and I hope they're not watching it because like to hear that out of your dad's mouth. Buckle up. <laughs> I mean, Mary needs to be watching. <laughs> Mary needs to be watching. For sure. But the kids do not. <laughs> no. None of th- They really don't. It's really sad. And what happened to him? Like, did, is there an injury? Did something happen? Like, did he start taking did, Ambien? Did or? he join a like a brainwashing cult? Is it the roids? Cult? Is it the HRT? Was he in Mother God? Like I don't know. something. Here's okay. There's a lot of back and forth on whether or not Cody and Robin's fight happened in 2024. Yeah, and I'm still sitting here saying I do not believe it happened in 2024. Could it be 2023? Sure. Could it be 2022? Sure. Yeah. But 2024 would mean that it most likely would have been a conversation that happened after Garrison's passing. And that's why we did it. That's what everyone's assuming people. Yeah. But here's the thing. Cody looks so bad in it. And people are like, he's just trying to save Robin. I'm like, no, he doesn't I, I good, disagree. No. I don't think it was after Garrison's passing. I think it was before, and I think they cut his name out of it. Yes. There's one point where he's saying Gabe and Garrison, and they cut it to just say Gabe. So yes. that makes me believe it was earlier on. And they look terrible, and it's not a helpful. No, it did nothing to it help them out. No, I'm like, if this was them supposed to backtracking, it's not a good look. No, it looks worse it's it's old so i do believe that it's old and you I guys do too. and people are like oh this jacket wasn't made till january yeah, the, 20, the colorway of the jacket i'm like yeah but websites no, but they always also, say like new color or but something. they found other versions of it yeah and stuff. so i just want to say that i stand by the on the record that, we think this is older footage. on the record <laughs> now could we flip flop of course yeah mm, i don't think so that's what we do I don't best think so. <laughs> so you know that's cody's prayer robin's mm-hmm. prayer is just like you know i hope that Dear God, please, God, let Mary and Cody just make it, please, God. And please let Janelle see that Cody has his six-pack abs and that he's worth staying around She's like, for. I've got an idea. Get Janelle a new appliance. You know, she loves it. And Mary just told that the church is not even real anymore. <laughs> and then and then Robin's like, I just know Cody's going to really struggle tomorrow not having his whole family here. No, he's not. I he's think so he excited. woke up like fuck. Cut to me. Cody, like it's the best Christmas ever. <laughs> he's uh not Jiminy Cricket. What's the he's Tiny Tim? Oh yeah. He throws his cane <laughs> and he's just like da 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 da. Merry Christmas, he everyone! Can't wait. He's so and excited. a Merry Christmas to all. He's like, I'm so glad we don't have to do fake Christmas with them because we know they did real Christmas, just them. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Because Robin's kids has all the extra presents. Yeah, yeah. they're like, oh. He's like, weird. I'm so excited to just have us here. It's so sad to watch it really this. Is. It really is so sad. But I also am like, it, and if you're feeling sad, just remember that like we don't think of them as real people. If and you're that feeling makes sad, it just rewind back to the bite out of McKelty's placenta. <laughs> That'll kick you out of your sentence. <laughs> Listen, if you're feeling depressed, go watch McKelty eat her if placenta. If you're feeling depressed, just find someone's placenta and take a bite out of it. Okay, McKelty says bite. it will cure all. <laughs> oh, she's the. I, did we see McKelty next week at all? I I don't know, but I'm done with the McKelty show. I am done. I feel bad for her. I don't want her to watch what her dad says about her, but I don't. I don't want her on my TV anymore. I don't want to see any more storylines. I don't want to go in that house one more time and see those books. I need a break from the children. (laughs) Good God. 
<laughs> Seriously. Can we go to Maddie's house or something? Anywhere. We need a new kid. Can we see Yezebel and Truly? Like, I'm I'm sick of my Kelsey right now. Anywhere else. Anywhere. Would make me. Oh, can I have a, to... Caitlin, I have a funny story I need to share. What? I don't know if I'm allowed to share this or not. Okay. But I'm going to. <laughs> Um, somebody reached out to me mm -hmm. and they said that years ago they had a job at Disneyland where they were responsible for sending letters back to kids who wrote to the characters. <laughs> Just so you know, kids, the characters don't really write you back. <laughs> Sorry to rip that. Ooh, what a fun out. job though. Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> now, no. this person was very excited when they saw an envelope come with the return address to the Cody Brown family. <laughs> And um, it was a letter to Rapunzel uh -huh. from a 15-year-old Jezebel <laughs> saying that her friends are not um, nice to her about her long hair, but she just wants to have long hair like Rapunzel. Like Rapunzel. So my apologies to Jezebel. I am so sorry <laughs> that I said your hair is too long. We take it back. Obviously, we, take we don't it want back, to bully And you. there's so many other things that we could be making fun of, like the fact that you're 15 writing to yes to Rapunzel. Forget the hair. Why are you writing to Rapunzel? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you could write to the character. Yeah. Okay. So right. yeah, and she's like, I felt so bad. I just had to send back like a Buzz Lightyear card. <laughs> <laughs> they never. They don't Rapunzel even have Rapunzel card. cards. Nah. Oh. It's like characters that I think you can see at Disneyland. I don't okay. know if Rapunzel was there at the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. All so, right. Interesting. Yeah. I thought that was a good tidbit. <laughs> Apologies to the trash bag who told me this if you didn't want me to tell, but I felt like I had to. <laughs> I don't feel like we could track her back, right? No, no. I it was years ago. I think your secret is safe. Yeah, secret <laughs> safe here. Oh my goodness, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, go and leave us a five-star review. If you didn't, just go away. Just don't move listen. On. We are not here for constructive criticism. We're not mm -hmm. here to better ourselves. We're here. Don't to... waste your time on us. We're <laughs> looking for like a uh um echo chamber. Echo oh. chamber of people mm -hmm. just telling us like, oh my God, you guys are so funny. We agree with everything you say. You know, yeah. that's, that's all we're looking for. Exactly. You know? And then if you're like, I want even more of these fuckers, then you can go to patreon.com slash sister wives talk where we do this five days a week. We revisit the old episodes. We do other shows. We've got all kinds of stuff over there. It's there's, a lot more fun and it's a lot more outrageous, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's fun. It's outrageous, but there's also some stuff. You know, there's some stuff that you have to look for. Yeah. It's not easy to find or access, but there's some good stuff on there. And next week is one of those things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Um, Journalism, baby. Yeah. Uh, other than that, is there no, no. anything else I need to say? No, I don't um, think so. Again, just, um, I hope all the kids are getting therapy. Please. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I, we should reach out and offer payment. Yeah, you know, we should. We I think it's the least we could do. <laughs> that is the least we could do. <laughs> all right, guys, have yourself a beautiful week. Splish splash, we're all trash. Goodbye. Goodbye.